Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, dear colleagues, please find your seats. We're about to start. To warmly welcome you all and open the seventh Vienna Migration Conference, allow me to introduce Michael Spindelegger, Director General of ICMPD. Good morning, dear ministers, commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, dear colleagues. Let me welcome you to the Palais Niederösterreich, wonderful premises we are in, and open the 2022 Vienna Migration Conference. It is really great pleasure to have you here today, but also to have so many of you joining us via the web. So we see at about 1,000 people following what is happening here in the room. Again, this Vienna Migration Conference is one of the big issues where we can show what is ongoing in the world concerning migration. I think today we experience perhaps the most challenging times since the end of the Second World War in terms of the geopolitical situation, but also in terms of migration, flight and displacement. Looking just one year again back what has happened, Afghanistan fell to the Taliban and hundreds of thousands fled the country. At the same time, Belarus started to pull thousands of migrants from Iraq, Syria and Afghanistan to its capital only to organize their subsequent entry to Poland and Lithuania with the intention to destabilize the European Union and saw divisions among the member states. In February this year, Russia started its aggression against Ukraine, displacing millions of people who found protection in the neighboring countries and in the European Union. In June, heavy rain falls triggered the most severe flooding in the recent history of Pakistan leaving behind a crisis of the scale that is hard to even imagine. Around the globe, millions of people are on the edge of famine and because of the fallout of the war in Ukraine, the disruption of supply chains and the effects of the climate change. Soaring inflation and the looming global recession endanger stability and social peace and make us fall behind on our development goals. So, our world faces a number of crises that interact with increasing velocity and severe impact a situation that is often described as a state of global polycrisis. Regardless of the term we want to use, we cannot avoid a basic conclusion. The crisis is real and the challenges are huge. At the same time, we should not forget about the progress that was made since we met last year in the framework of the Vienna Migration Conference. The unified and robust response by the European Union in cooperation with non-European partners put a halt to the instrumentalization of migration by Belarus. The activation of the temporary protection directive prevented a border crisis from happening and provided millions of Ukrainians with immediate access to protection, job market and other support. In parallel, the Ukraine government and its international partners are in constant talks on recovery and reconstruction and the role returning Ukrainians can play in this regard. The work on skills and talent partnerships between the European Union and its partners took some important steps. And although much of the intention 
was on external events. The French and Czech presidencies continued the work on the reform of European migration and asylum policy and achieved tangible progress in the steering of the Schengen area, the operational development of the external dimension, or in building a mechanism of voluntary solidarity. But major challenges remain on the European agenda in the first half of the year, the member states recorded a 68% increase in asylum applications compared to last year. Detections of illegal border crossings went up to 75%. Along the Western Balkan routes, they were almost three times higher than in 2021. Labor shortages become more pressing every year, but Europe still misses a coherent response to changing demographics and the implications of our economies, welfare systems, and public finances. About all of this, we want to talk during the next day and a half day, and the VMC provides a unique platform for doing exactly that. Every autumn, our annual flagship platform offers the opportunity to discuss migration against the background of global trends, unfolding geopolitical developments, and the central issues of the migration policy agenda. Meanwhile, the VMC is one of the most important international platforms for high-level discussions on migration in Europe and beyond, always putting the spotlight firmly on the state of play in migration diplomacy and on those aspects in which real progress can be made. To this end, the VMC gathers politicians, most of them are here today, decision makers, practitioners, analysts, researchers, journalists, experts, and influencers from the migration community, from all the different regions that are connected by migration and where ICMPD has been active for many years. It is a very good sign to welcome so many of you here today in this special format. Last but not least, the VMC is a unique platform because its agenda emphasizes open and frank discussions between high-level actors as much as it provides space for networking, personal meetings, and informal exchange all of which is the basis for effective cooperation and reliable partnership, which in turn is the basis for better migration governance. We have a set of outstanding speakers with us today and tomorrow. I think they will help us to understand the events of the past year and point us in the direction of possible approaches to the great challenges of our time. I would like to thank you all again for joining us here in Vienna and I invite and encourage everyone to join the debate here in this impressive hall. I very much look forward to our discussions. Speaking of partnership, I'm very grateful that also this year a number of institutions are supporting us to organize this event. I would like to sincerely thank ORS, the Organization for Refugee Services, and the city of Vienna. Your support has been crucial for the successful organization of this conference. And now I have the honor and special pleasure to welcome His Excellency Gerhard Karner, the Minister of the Interior of Austria, who will share with us his views on the key aspects of the European and global migration agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely hope that you will enjoy the 2022 edition of the Vienna Migration Conference. And it is my pleasure to give you the floor. Dear Gerhard, please come on. Thank you very much.
Herzlich willkommen in Wien, ein Grüß Gott im Palais Niederösterreich, die Ministers, Excellences, Ladies and Gentlemen, dear Director General, lieber Michael, at the beginning I would like to thank ICMPT for organizing once again this annual high-level conference. Regular exchange with partners, friends and experts is essential. This is even more evident in such difficult times we have. The VMC is an important forum of exchange on the most pressing issues to discuss common action. It is therefore a particular honor and pleasure for me to address and welcome here today so many representatives from so many regions of the world. Very warm welcome here in Vienna, here in the Palais from Lower Austria. It is in the neighborhood of my Ministry of Interior and very warm welcome to all of you. We are finding ourselves in times of difficult challenges. The war from Putin in the Ukraine, the energy crisis, climate change and natural disasters, and the consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic are shaping our world. And in the context of Russia's aggression against Ukraine, the EU has reacted quickly with the adoption of the Temporary Protection Directive. Since then, Austria has accepted more than 80,000 displaced persons from Ukraine and we continue supporting Ukraine and its neighbors. It is important that people find protection as close as possible to their home without having to cross continents, continents and risking their own lives. And while we continue to monitor the situation in Ukraine, we must not forget other challenges. Looking at the recent migratory trends in the EU and migration phenomena on a global level, the situation is continuously getting worse. Let me briefly refer the consequences for Austria. Let me briefly refer the situation in our country. We are currently the country with the highest asylum applications per capita all over Europe. Until August, Austria has already had 56,000 asylum applications during this year. This is an increase of almost 200% compared to the same period in the year before in the last year. Our capacities are at their limits and we're struggling every day to provide housing and assistance for all, those, for all these migrants. I think we can say that Europe is facing migratory challenges and therefore we have a lot to do. The pressure is increasing immensely and the situation in Afghanistan and Iran is tense. Important partner countries like Turkey are still facing enormous pressure themselves more than 10 years after the start of the war in Syria. At the same time, we are also confronted with new migratory trends. We have, for example, had a sharp increase of asylum applications of migrants from countries with almost no chance for asylum, such as Tunisia or especially India. This is the result of the abuse of visa-free travel via the Western Balkans. We are grateful in this regard also for the joint initiative of Chancellor Nehammer, together with Prime Minister Orban and President Vucic to strengthen our cooperation and to end the abuse of visa-free travel. And I also want to thank Vice President Skinas for his efforts in these days on this important topic. Another reason for concern is the instrumentalization of migration, of migration as we, for example, experienced from Belarus in 2021, but also in other countries before. Keeping this in mind, we need to double our efforts if we want to effectively fight irregular migration in Europe. We need to further strengthen, strengthen capacities along migration routes. In the Western Balkans, along the Silk Road, especially in Turkey, but also with our friends in Pakistan, as well as in Egypt or Tunisia. Together, we have to focus and protect on protection and perspectives in the region 
of origin. Combat migrant smuggling, I think that's a real main topic. Support each other and cooperate in the field of return. And invest in a robust border management. And we also need to quickly align visa policies in partner countries to the EU rules to avoid new migratory routes. We all know that irregular migration can only be tackled together by a joint approach on international level. We are pleased to have established close cooperation with several states in the last years. And we will continue to strengthen these relationships with our partners. In this regard, I would like to mention success stories such as the work done by the Joint Operational Office or the Joint Coordination Platform. Finally, dear Michael, dear Michael, the contribution of ICMPD to global migration management cannot be emphasized enough. Thank you very much for this. You and your staff, you are most, your most valuable partner for Austria. Thank you. With the current migration, migratory situation in mind, we see many new challenges ahead of us. But by working together, like we do this today and tomorrow, we will overcome these challenges. I look forward to continuing our joint approach and wish us all a successful conference with fruitful discussions and exchanges. Thank you all for being here and discuss. Joining us now over video message, due to the busy schedule of the EU presidency, I have the pleasure to hand over to the screen and uh, Czech Vice, first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of the Interior, Bit Rakushan. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, it's a great pleasure to address the Vienna Migration Conference 2022. The agenda of upcoming two days is very well balanced as it addresses the current as well as future challenges in a bigger picture. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic led to decreased migration flows, but also created an additional layer of vulnerability for both migrants and host communities. Only one year later, the instrumentalization of migrants by the Lukashenko regime with the aim to destabilize the EU and the takeover of Kabul by the Taliban added to the chaos. Moreover, right now, countries around the globe have to tackle the impacts of the Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. Russia's unprovoked attack has not only led to the largest displacement crisis since the Second World War in Europe, but also created massive secondary impacts, be it food of, or energy insecurity that will affect migration situation in the long term. We also cannot forget the already long-standing crisis be it civil war in Syria or political unrest in Libya. Also, the mentioned challenges require individual and tailor-made responses. We know that the only way how to address them is via strong international cooperation. As a presidency of the EU Council, I would like to assure you that we take all these challenges very seriously. We focus both on short-term and long-term measures and also on legislative and not legislative action. We are addressing the situation of Ukrainian refugees and internally displaced persons. Many technical and political meetings are being organized with the aim to ensure European unity in these uneasy times. We are focusing on cooperation with all key partners, key countries along all migration roads. 
One of the key partners is also the International Center of Migration Policy Development, the host of the Vienna Migration Conference and the Secretariat of Made Migration Processes. Only in two weeks we will host the ministerial meeting of the Prague process in Prague that will gather almost 50 states and other stakeholders to look into some of the challenges mentioned. In short, as the presidency, we are trying to develop the system that will quickly respond and solve the complex migration and mobility challenges, but will also withstand the test of time. I am sure that the Vienna Migration Conference with all great speakers will yield great results and develop inspiring ideas that will support our joint endeavor. You are in more than capable hands of our host, International Center for Migration Policy Development, that is playing the prominent role in migration expertise for last couple of years. I wish you the successful conference and in the capacity of the presidency as well as the Czech Republic, I'm looking forward to learning the results. Enjoy. So, also from our side, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to the, to the minister's uh, opening and Michael, your opening. I think the stage has been set now, the political context um, has, been, has been outlined, and the, the reference to the, to the multiple crises and challenges that we are facing um, in Europe, but also uh, outside Europe uh, in, the, in the regions that are also represented here in the room, the challenges are manifold. But after the, the setting of the scene, we would just like to quickly explain to you um, how we see the agenda uh, to work in the next uh, day, day and a half. So uh, a bit of sense making of what we have, have planned. And perhaps as you can imagine, a conference like this takes now almost a year to, uh, to organize and plan. So uh, we would like to share with you a little bit of the thinking um, behind, behind the agenda. So uh, my name is Lukas Gerke. I am Deputy Director General of ICMPD. And I'm very happy to introduce to you Marlene Frankenhäuser. She is Head of uh, Policy at ICMPD. And she is the mastermind behind the Vienna Migration Conference. And so we uh, decided to do the, to do the, uh, the sense making in a in a little uh, uh, double conference style, which I think Vienna is also famous for. So it's been eventful, an eventful year since the, the, the sixth edition last year, and there are multiple crises that affect uh, migration dynamics, uh, affect migration policy making, of course. Um, but Malin, um, sort of you, you took fully, fully control of, of, uh, of the conference this year for the, I think, the first, the first time, and there are a, a number of, of novelties. So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about the general idea behind the Vienna Migration Conference 22. Yes, pleasure to be here. Also a warm welcome from my side. It's really great to see so many of you in the room again this year. Um, the VMC, as we already heard this morning, is really about two things. It's the people in the room and the debates on stage. And we want to have the right debates on stage, we want to have the right people in the room, we want to have the debates that put the finger on the pulse of what is going on, what people are talking about, what are the pressing issues in the migration world. And we want to bring those, of course, also to a broader audience that are following us now live um, around the world. And the right people in the room, yes, you are the ones who shape and drive the agenda. You are the ones who are also responding to those events that are happening around us, who are trying to prepare for what might come next. We want to have you here. We want to connect you. That's important. 
there is there is a little detail that uh, those that know the VMC um, um, that may have occurred to them that this year's conference doesn't have a, a, a proper title, a title in itself or a subtitle that the previous years had. That's true. Um, those who have been following the Vienna Migration Conference know that we always had a thematic heading in the last six years. And this year we decided that we can do without it. Because if you look back over the last seven years, there is a very strong red thread. We've always provided that platform to have a dialogue and a debate on the most pressing issues concerning all of you in the room. And, and that is what the Vienna Migration Conference is. We are and we have become Europe's leading forum for these debates. Uh, we want to have a platform where you can voice concerns, where you can identify opportunities, and where we together can identify the way forward to find common ground and to move policy and practice forward. On stage and inside meetings, obviously, this is what the VMC is, and this is what we've become, and this is what we will be also next year. So we decided we are the Vienna Migration Conference, and that should be enough. <laughs> okay, I think that was convincing. So, um, <laughs> what else is new this year? Yes, so uh, we've stepped up in terms of a side program. We want to make the VMC more than just this once a year highlight. So we started in summer, we met in Berlin for a special VMC event to discuss uh, the next stage of temporary protection. Yesterday, we had the great pleasure to host uh, Vice President Skinas at the second Migration Futures Dinner. And today and tomorrow, uh, we put together a small side program in the breaks so that those of you who need a break from networking or side meetings can also visit our side program. We have a event here in the room during the, coffee, during the lunch break on anti-trafficking. We have a film screening also in the lunch break in Harensal, here on my left. And to showcase a bit of ICMPD's work uh, and to allow you to meet some more colleagues, we've also um, arranged for very short 10-minute flash presentations on selected initiatives and uh, key areas of our work. So we have two in each coffee break, also uh, in Harens also go and meet our colleagues and find out more about our work. And now, um, just before we close this little introduction here, maybe you can share with us what, what is it that you personally look forward to? Is there anything you would like to highlight? What are you specifically excited about? Um, I'm excited to see all of you in the room, first and, f and foremost, but I'm, uh, we had a very successful um, agenda last year with new formats. And also this year we have uh, three sessions to spotlight key issues that are currently being debated around the world and to stimulate thinking around those debates. So we start with climate change just now after this session. Uh, then we have instrumentalization in the evening and tomorrow we will look at uh, Europe, uh, sorry, Ukraine and the future of Europe. Um, and I'm excited also that we have a lot of new colleagues on stage. We always try to diversify ICMPD's presence and last but not least, um, this is something we also work hard to achieve. This year's program, if you count the total number of appearances, including the side program, has finally achieved uh, gender parity. So we're 50-50. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so let's not uh, keep us uh, away too long from, from the, actual, the actual program. Um, all I can say is uh, thank you again to the, to the opening panels of, of, the, of the ministers, uh, Michael, Director General of ICMPD, all the participants. Um, yeah, from my side also, um, I, uh, great appreciation for, for your uh, continuous interest in, in, in this conference, for your participation. All panelists, without you, the VMC wouldn't be what it, uh, what it became uh, to be. And perhaps also little, little statistics before we end this intro. We have uh, close to just below 300 registered participants over the two days, and we have uh, 1,200 online uh, viewers um, uh, registered for the day, day and a half. So there is also a lot of uh, interest out there, not just in the room. So with this, thank you very much and let's, uh, let's welcome the first panel on the stage. <laughs>